Gibbons are apes in the family Hylobatidae, Harel Betidae. The family historically contained one genus but now is split into four genera and 17 species. Gibbons occur in tropical and subtropical rainforests from eastern Bangladesh and northeast India to southern China and Indonesia. Also called the lesser apes, gibbons differ from great apes in being smaller, exhibiting low sexual dimorphism, not making nests, and certain anatomical details in which they superficially more closely resemble monkeys than great apes do, but like all apes, gibbons are tailless. Gibbons also display pair bonding, maintaining the same mate for life, unlike most of the great apes. Gibbons are masters of their primary mode of locomotion, brachiation, swinging from branch to branch for distances of up to 15 meters, at speeds as high as 55 kilometers per hour. They can also make leaps of up to 8 meters, and walk bipedally with their arms raised for balance. They are the fastest and most agile of all tree-dwelling, non-flying mammals. Depending on species and sex, gibbons' fur coloration varies from dark to light brown shades, and any shade between black and white. Seeing a completely white gibbon is rare. Gibbon species include the Siamang, the white-handed or la gibbon, and the hulok gibbons. Evolutionary History Whole genome molecular dating analyses indicate that the gibbon lineage diverged from that of great apes around 16.8 million years ago. Adaptive divergence associated with chromosomal rearrangements led to rapid radiation of the four genera 5 to 7 million years ago. Each genus comprises a distinct, well-delineated lineage, but the timing and sequence of divergence among these genera remains unresolved, even with whole genome data, due to extensive incomplete lineage sorting. At the species level, estimates from mitochondrial DNA genome analyses suggest that Hylobates pilitus diverged from H. La and H. Agilis around 3.9 Maya, and H. La and H. Agilis separated around 3.3 Maya. Whole genome analysis suggests divergence of Hylobates pilitus from Hylobates Moloch 1.5 minus 3.0 Maya. The extinct Bunnopithecus sericus is a gibbon or gibbon-like ape which, until recently, was thought to be closely related to the Hulok gibbons. Taxonomy The family is divided into four genera based on their deployed chromosome number. Hylobates, Hulok, Nomascus, and Symphalangus. Family Hylobatidae. Gibbons genus Hulok Western Hulok Gibbon. Hulok Eastern Hulok Gibbon. Luke and Ed's genus Hylobates. Dwarf Gibbons La Gibbon or White-Handed Gibbon. La Malaysian La Gibbon. L. La Carpenters La Gibbon. L. Carpentary Central La Gibbon. L. Enteloidus Sumatran La Gibbon. L. Vestitis Yunnan La Gibbon. L. Yunnanensis Bornean White Bearded Gibbon. Albi Barbus Agile Gibbon or Black Handed Gibbon. Agilis Muller's Bornean Gibbon. Mullery Muller's Grey Gibbon. M. Mullery Abbott's Grey Gibbon. M. Abbotty Northern Grey Gibbon. M. Funerius Silvery Gibbon. Moloch Western Silvery Gibbon or Western Javan Gibbon. M. Moloch Eastern Silvery Gibbon or Central Javan Gibbon. M. Pong Olsoni Pileated Gibbon or Capped Gibbon. Pilitus Clossus Gibbon, Menchuai Gibbon or Bilau. Clossii Genus Symphalangus Siamang. Syndactylus Genus Nomascus. Crested Gibbons Northern Buff Cheeked Gibbon. Animensis Can Color or Black Crested Gibbon. Can Color N. C. Can Color N. C. Lu N. C. Chingdom Gensis N. C. Fervogaster Eastern Black Crested Gibbon or Calvi Black Crested Gibbon. Nasutus Hainan Black Crested Gibbon. Hainanus Northern White Cheeked Gibbon. Leucogenes Southern White Cheeked Gibbon. Seeky Yellow Cheeked Gibbon. Gabriella. Hybrids Many gibbons are hard to identify based on fur coloration, so are identified either by song or genetics. These morphological ambiguities have led to hybrids in zoos. Zoos often receive gibbons of unknown origin. 
so rely on morphological variation or labels that are impossible to verify to assign species and subspecies names. So separate species of gibbons commonly are misidentified and housed together. Into specific hybrids, hybrids within a genus are also suspected to occur in wild gibbons where their ranges overlap. However, there are no records exist of fertile hybrids between different gibbon genera, either in the wild or in captivity. Physical description. One unique aspect of gibbon anatomy is the wrist, which functions something like a ball and socket joint, allowing for biaxial movement. This greatly reduces the amount of energy needed in the upper arm and torso, while also reducing stress on the shoulder joint. Sometimes, when a gibbon is swinging, its wrists sometimes naturally dislocate until the gibbon finishes its swing. Gibbons also have long hands and feet, with a deep cleft between the first and second digits of their hands. Their fur is usually black, grey, or brownish, often with white markings on hands, feet, and face. Some species have an enlarged throat sac, which inflates and serves as a resonating chamber when the animals call. This structure can become quite large in some species, sometimes equaling the size of the animal's head. Their voices are much more powerful than that of any human singer, although they are at best half a man's height. Gibbon skulls and teeth resemble those of the great apes, and the noses are similar to those of all catarine primates. The dental formula is 2.1.2, 32.1.2.3 The Siamang, which is the largest of the 17 species, is distinguished by having two fingers on each foot struck together, hence the generic can species name Symphalangus and Syndactylus. Behavior Gibbons are social animals. They are strongly territorial, and defend their boundaries with vigorous visual and vocal displays. The vocal element, which can often be heard for distances of up to one kilometer, consists of a duet between a mated pair, with their young sometimes joining in. In most species, males, and also some females, sing solos to attract mates, as well as advertise their territories. The song can be used to identify not only which species of gibbon is singing, but also the area from which it comes. Gibbons are masters of their primary mode of locomotion, brachiation, swinging from branch to branch for distances of up to 15 meters, at speeds as high as 55 kilometers per hour. The gibbons' ball and socket joints allow them unmatched speed and accuracy when swinging through trees. Nonetheless, their mode of transportation can lead to hazards when a branch breaks or a hand slips and researchers estimate that the majority of gibbons suffer bone fractures one or more times during their lifetimes. They are the fastest and most agile of all tree-dwelling, non-flying mammals. Diet Gibbons' diets are about 60% fruit-based, but they also consume twigs, leaves, insects, flowers and occasionally bird eggs they find in a bird's nest. Conservation Status most species are endangered, primarily due to degradation or loss of their forest habitats. On the island of Phuket in Thailand, a volunteer-based gibbon rehabilitation center rescues gibbons that were kept in captivity, and are being released back into the wild. The IUCN Species Survival Commission Primate Specialist Group announced 2015 to be the year of the gibbon and initiated events to be held around the world in zoos to promote awareness of the status of gibbons. In traditional Chinese culture, the sinologist Robert Van Gulik concluded gibbons were widespread in central and southern China until at least the Song Dynasty, and furthermore, Based on an analysis of references to primates in Chinese poetry and other literature and their portrayal in Chinese paintings, the Chinese word Yuan referred specifically to gibbons until they were extirpated throughout most of the country due to habitat destruction. In modern usage, however, Yuan is a generic word for ape. Early Chinese writers viewed the noble gibbons, gracefully moving high in the treetops, as the gentlemen of the forests.
In contrast to the greedy macaques, attracted by human food, the Taoists ascribed occult properties to gibbons, believing them to be able to live for several hundred years and to turn into humans. Gibbon figurines as old as from the 4th to 3rd centuries BCE have been found in China. Later on, gibbons became a popular object for Chinese painters, especially during the Song Dynasty and early Yuan Dynasty, when Yi Yuanji and Muki Fachang excelled in painting these apes. From Chinese cultural influence, the Zen motif of the gibbon grasping at the reflection of the moon in the water became popular in Japanese art. As well, though gibbons have never occurred naturally in Japan, 